Hey there gamers, it's Low Budget Gamer here. Today we'll be trying Stellar Blade. It just released yesterday. My PC specs are RTX 3050 laptop GPU with 4GB of VRAM GDDR6. My CPU is i5 11 Gen at 3.2 GHz of clock speed. And my RAM is 30GB at 3200 megatrends of speed. You might see my available RAM is only 21GB. That's because of the iGPU. But that doesn't matter. If the video is helpful to you, do put a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to press the bell button and leave a comment down below about your PC specs. So we are in game right now and as you can see I'm running a native 1080p, no vSync, target frame rate is 120 although we are not gonna reach that. I've turned off motion blur because I don't like that at all and chromatic aberration and film grain camera stick stand that's just something I like to be honest in every game the graphic preset I'm using is high although it's going above my VRAM it kind of gives decent FPS right now I'm using DLSS 4 at quality no frame generation as you know 3000 GPU don't get it and later part of the video I'm gonna try fidelity effect with frame generation and other than that all the settings are high preset I haven't seen anything is as high preset with just motion blur turned off let's go counter FPS now for, for a minute it does get low FPS because I don't know the game seems to yeah as you can see it becomes normal immediately for like few minutes Great. the let's game go tries to get everything in motion and the frame graph although is very you, you can see it's very spiky and all it's not because of the game to be honest because the game is very optimized at least from my side but it's due to our 4 gb right? ram of our card uh, my body frame take this it's first aid dying first Thank aid <laughs> it looks like something else yeah, every, every time it loads the There's game, more of them. the FPS drops for a few minutes until it can recover again. But to be honest, if you have a controller, this game will be fine at 30 FPS. Let's get out of here. And you can just play it like up. this in 30 FPS and it's all good to go. Let's try DLSS balance. Dang it, when AGB we wrap. Watch out yeah, the balance gives us, okay, around 40, uh, I guess, 5. And I can say you guys can play this game on your laptop, to be honest. <laughs> You'll have no worries playing it in the game. <laughs> My god, this boss is hard. I feel like I'm not benchmarking and I'm doing something else. It's cool. <laughs> the game is quite cool. <laughs> As you can see, we are in a new location outside from this. This location is a bit intensive, I feel like. Even if the other location was much more Falling to break. open. Be carefully. So yeah, we are getting around 30 FPS for Something very high balance. The crustacean type. They're coming. Alright. 21 area FPS. Is clear. Yeah, this uh, yeah, this area is more intensive than the last location. Dang! It has this a shower scene. <laughs> the waterfall scene. Try entering the code. What was it exactly? I forgot. R O A no not this. A I'm very bad with password. And my memory is a junk. It works. Okay. It opens. So just open. The game's graphics is very good to be honest. I didn't find because any difference in terrain. very It'll high and high. Soon. Okay. I have changed the graphic settings 
to medium the LSS4 balance I'm not going to go below balance to be honest and like as you can see the VRAM is still above my limit it's 6.336 GB VRAM uses and we only have 3.87 GB of VRAM but that's all good because kinda the game runs very smooth as I said the game is very nicely optimized and, and if I be honest the graphic settings don't like it doesn't change like all the graphic settings kind of look same to be honest except the texture I find the medium also to be looking very good are you sure I you don't want to do any upgrades I haven't tried like the lower lowest setting right now but high very high very high to high it doesn't change anything but medium only I feel like the texture is a bit different yeah the texture is a bit different other than that the game looks very good you can play in medium also if you want but i will give you a very good optimized settings at the end of the video okay i have dropped down the graphics preset to low nvidia dlss4 balance and like i'm not using amd yet i'll do i'll use it in a moment as you can see it's all low right now i don't feel like the game graphics have any changes to be honest very high to high looks quite similar and even medium quite looks similar only the difference is that our texture is a bit different to be honest other than that I didn't find any graphical difference yeah low has a very bad texture okay low has very bad textures as you can see <laughs> but I don't think the model the actual the model has any difference the model still looks same to me and it's running at 60 fps it's going 60 plus fps in this settings in low okay i don't care about all this wait did i even dodge it And now we're gonna try a AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. First, I'll see how actually it looks without the frame generation part. It kind of looks similar to be honest. Maybe it's because of my, you can see like 15 inch laptop screen. Like you cannot notice too much blurriness in 15 inch to be honest. It looks similar. Then to the other what is this? Although it looks a bit like uh, it just looks a bit blurry, but there is no dedicated dodge button. Okay, that's how we dodge. Okay, now for I. I am very noob, sorry guys. We did it. <laughs> he keeps on running. Yeah, we are also testing it with FSR right now. The my optimized setting with F FSR. If you guys who want to go for FSR route with frame generation of course I'm using balance FSR with frame generation on it's using 6.7 GB of VRAM and like it doesn't give much difference to be honest as you saw last time it was 60 FPS it gives around the same FPS it gives 69-70 FPS only and it doesn't go more than that to be honest It's right now 80 FPS. I'll skip this. I'll just directly go to the fight. We're getting around. And there's no input like to be honest. I don't feel any input lag. Like. 
I don't even think like the other side is working. Strange journey. I don't feel that strange generation is working for this game to be honest. Any drama effects are. And in DLSS balance, we are getting. There are traces of markers left behind yeah, by the Yeah, we're just getting the same FPS. The FSR isn't working to be honest. Okay, now for the optimization part. The best settings that I found to be honest that make, mixes the overall quality of the game in our laptop. It's not for high-end PCs. For high-end PCs, of course, different. It's just for 4GB VRAM laptops. So the best settings I got was DLSS 4 balance. Don't use frame generation because it has like it drops more of the VRAM to the, you know, it spills over to the RAM and it has lots of stutter then. Environmental de object detail high, character object detail high, environment and texture medium, character texture medium. You can even go high with this one, medium texture very high. Thus, it doesn't affect anything, but like medium is, to be honest, okay to go. Clutter density low, environmental object visibility 24, character visible uh, because you don't see too far in this game, you don't need to see too far also. Uh, so, like 24 is 24, 25 is decent, and character visible distance is 39 or 40. You can use anything, it's like it helps the game very much, to be honest. Character object detail, yeah, I'm setting that it uh, high because the overall character and the environment and looks very good the quality low because it amplifies the performance a lot lighting quality medium volumetric fog low you cannot notice anything in our laptop screens because the laptop screens are very small so like any artifacting of like uh, low quality fog or low quality any like uh, due, due to the resolution it doesn't matter because you won't notice all these things particle quality medium animation quality high ambient occlusion low depth of field low and these settings of course low and screen space reflection low you can do this medium and it will give the same fps like let, just let me show how much do we get with all these things we're getting around 74 50 60 FPS. yeah we're getting enough fps with this and the game looks very good also in this settings even the environment and texture is medium right now yeah when I was playing at low, it was very low, and the textures were much more muddier than this. See? And actually, this game requires 60 FPS. What is it? To be honest, this game requires 60 FPS. Like you'll enjoy much more in 60 FPS than there are traces in of markers left behind by very the high settings and looking nothing. Like you won't be looking at anything else except for the enemy in this game. And of course our main character whose graphic that is no matter what you do. Okay, I'll be leaving you the optimized settings in the description and also in the comment. And also it'll be right here visible on your screen right now the whole setting written the proper optimized settings to get 60 fps in a 4 gb vram gpu hope you liked it if you do like it do put a thumbs up do subscribe and do comment down below your specs and how you are gonna tackle this game and what settings are you gonna play this game on thank you guys have a great day good night